Hey friends, this classic beef stew is so easy to make at home, makes a perfect dinner or lunch on any day of the week and especially on these cold winter days. It makes one pot cooking so comforting and calming. For this recipe, I'm using beef chuck steak, about three pounds. This is perfectly suited for this kind of cooking. So with long simmering, this will give a very good stew. Then just cut it into bite size, removing any sinews or anything that does like all this extra fat. We'll cut this beef into fairly large pieces. They tend to shrink because of the long simmering. This will take about two hours. Season this beef, salt and pepper while still on the cutting board. And this will be ready to start searing. Perfect. Wash my hands. Now peel and dice one onion. garlic roughly chop this garlic chop rosemary and thyme this will impart very good flavors into the dish. Set aside. Carrots. Potatoes. I'm using Yukon Gold. You can use any potatoes that are available to you. Peel and cut into bite-sized pieces. Baby Bella mushrooms. This will add very good savoriness to the dish. With the damp paper towels, just wipe them for any sand. Cut these mushrooms into halves. These stems are young, so they are edible. Into this hot pot, add about two tablespoons vegetable oil. Add the beef chuck steak pieces in batches and start peeling until they are browned on all sides. Give the beef a turn once it's brown on one side. Once this batch is all seared, remove into a plate. Continue searing the rest of the beef. Add onions and cook until they are slightly brown, scraping the bottom of the pot. That is deliciousness all at the bottom. 
add garlic and saute for about 30 seconds or so. I will degrade the bottom of the pan with about two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. This is a good time you can pull out your bottle of wine and use at this point. Add a tablespoon tomato paste. At this point I'm going to add about two tablespoons of all purpose flour. You can use cornstarch if you are trying to avoid anything with gluten but this will help to thicken the gravy or the sauce just so slightly we are not looking for a very big gravy like sauce here we still want it to be nice light with a very nice consistency return all the beef into the pot together with all the accumulated juices bring the heat all the way up stir everything together add beef stock you can use water a pinch of red pepper flakes this is optional about a teaspoon paprika this is just purely for color you can skip or use chili powder just add some water to cover bring this pot to a boil simmer for about an hour and a half also and then we will add the rest of the ingredients that are going with this stew now as the beef simmers away into this hot pan add some vegetable oil once the oil is very hot add the mushrooms season salt and pepper saute until they are softened add some of our chopped herbs some more oil you can definitely cook these mushrooms with the rest of the vegetables but they keep their texture if you cook them this way Now this beef has been simmering away for over an hour. Add the fresh herbs, rosemary and thyme, potatoes, carrots, celery, peas, salt, black pepper, now bring this pot back to a boil lower the heat simmer for about a half an hour or until the potatoes the carrots and everything in there is all cooked through and the beef finishes cooking halfway through we will check for the seasoning this looks so delicious already Now the potatoes are all cooked through, add our sauteed mushrooms, give the pot a good stir, sprinkle some scallions and cilantro, you can use parsley, it just gives it a nice freshness, before then just check for the seasoning, that's good to me.
Mm. Piece of beef. Mm. Some of these veggies. Mm. Enjoy this stew with some bread or chapati. This I make at home. Check out the recipes on my channel. Mm. Some rice will do too, or any side of your choice will go with this dish. This is a dish that you can do on any day of the week. It's so perfect, especially during these cold winter days. It's warming, it's comforting, it's just all you'll want to want on days like those. So thank you so much for watching this one. I hope to see you in the next one. Leave me comments down below how it, what you think about this recipe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, subscribe, please. Thank you. Mm.